Good morning, Redeemer. It's Peter Jan and Joa. This morning, I want to encourage you from a verse from Luke 5, and it's about the dynamism, the, the work of the Holy Spirit in you. When Jesus speaks about what he has brought in his person, he talks about the new wine. Um, and that comes in a different form and shape than the old. And he says in uh, Luke 5, 37, that no one pours new wine into old wineskins. If it does, then new wine will burst the skins, and the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No new wine must be poured into new wineskins. Jesus was in conversation with the Pharisees, and they were holding up to rules and regulations. And Jesus comes, well, I'm bringing something new. Uh, you can't follow me in a way that is all predictable. Just following the rules doesn't bring you closer to God. I am bringing the new kingdom, and I am bringing new wine. We know that he's also speaking about the new wine of the Spirit that uh, has been poured out after he went to heaven. And this morning I want to encourage you, are you living a life where the new wine of Jesus, his Spirit, is actively at work? There's a power in it. It can, uh, old leather skins can burst. Um, if the Spirit is at work in you, there's a dynamism and there's a power, there's an active work of the Spirit in your life that transforms you. It helps you to get rid of things that you want to hold on to, and uh, the bad things, and it helps you also to become more Christ-like. Is the Holy Spirit at work in you? It is the best life. But this, this morning, there's one verse after Jesus says that, that um, the new wine needs to go into new wineskins. That really kind of turned me off. He says, no one after drinking the old wine wants the new, for he says the old is softer. I was so confused when I read this. I thought after speaking about the new wine, he would say, No one after drinking the new wine wants the old, for the new is softer or better. Well, he says something different. He says, If you want to hold on to the old wine, if you want to hold on to the smooth and the comfortable wine, you don't want to have the new wine. You don't want to have that active wine, which is full of life and act action. And um, today I want to encourage you. That Jesus wants you to live a life, active life with the Holy Spirit. Like Joseph told us last week, but also this morning, are you living a life that's filled with the new wine of the kingdom? We don't want to live comfortable lives. The thing that makes me excited is that Jesus freely gives his spirit to us. And that changes us. That brings us into dynamism, which isn't smooth, but it is exciting. Do you have the new wine in your life actively at work? I see two faces in the gospel, expressions of faces, which are an expression from the old wine and an expression from the new wine. The expression from the old wine, somebody who wants to hold on to the comfortable and the smooth, is the rich young man. Jesus asked him to sell all his possessions. If he wants to follow Jesus, he says, sell all your possessions and give it to the poor. And he went away very sad because he was rich. He couldn't let go of some things in his life which were dear to him. And when Jesus asked it, he became very sad because he held more unto the things than to the life with Jesus and what Jesus could bring him. I don't want you to have that face in this week. I want you to have a face more like Stephen. He was one of the people who witnessed of Jesus and he was put in prison or at least uh, brought before trial and put he was about to put to death by stoning and while they were stoning him his face was radiant and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father he was so in awe of Jesus that he didn't mind them stoning him his life was gone but he knew that his life was with Christ and he did the right thing he testified of Jesus I want you to have a boldness like that I want your face to be radiant like that so this morning the Holy Spirit is there for you. You can live a life full with the dynamism of the Holy Spirit that guides you, that leads you, that's with you. And there's encouragement today when we hear the warning of Jesus that we don't want to be people who want the old and the smooth. We want to be people that want the new and the dynamism of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for this. Father, thank you that it says when the 
your spirit was sent out on the day of Pentecost and people thought they are full with new wine. And it was true. Even though they didn't drink a drop of wine, they were filled with the wine of the new kingdom. Father, they were bold to testify, they were bold to follow you, and they were more concerned about you than about any other thing. Today, we ask that you will send your spirit in us, that you will transform us, that you will fill us with your spirit, Lord, that streams of living water will flow out of, out of us. Let us not be people who want the smooth and uh, predictable, but let us be people who listen to your spirit today, who are led by your spirit today. And will you pour out your spirit in us, Lord, that the power of your new kingdom will be alive and at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.